is like right in my heel. Today we are joined by um, the cutest little problem that I own. This is Luna. <laughs> she's, I don't even freaking know how old this cat is. She's, she's been around. Somehow she's still alive, which is neat. Back in June is when I first started to work out. I guess the reason why I started then was because I had gotten a new job and with it came a wage increase and I also had like I guess the rest of the ladder left to climb whereas in my previous position I was an office assistant and um, I mean like it was a very important role like don't get me wrong I was an office assistant in a COVID overflow unit at that the same one that I used to work at as a CNA before I injured my back. I loved helping the nurses I uh, was fulfilled by like a lot of aspects of it at times but then there were a lot of tasks and things that I did that I just did not get any fulfillment out of and also my wage did not <laughs> fulfill me whatsoever. After a year of doing office assistant work um, I just really had to evaluate where I was and how much time had passed and if I felt comfortable enough that my back was going to get better um, enough to like continue to pursue nursing and get back on the floor as a tech or as a CNA, or if I wanted to move on, basically, if I wanted to walk away. I got a new position. It's definitely super stressful, <laughs> don't get me wrong, but back then uh, in May when I was applying and I had my interview and then I put in my two weeks notice at the hospital and I was getting ready to go to this new job and even like the first couple weeks in classroom training at the new job, I was just like cloud nine. I was so, so excited. I was so happy that like, I just, I think most of all, I just felt this immense relief that I could finally like close the door on what I had done before uh, my life in the hospital, which like, of course was never the plan, you know, but it just, I'm just happy that I made a choice at all because standing in the doorway in this like really uncertain limbo space was just kind of eating me alive, to be honest. So I was just happy that I made a choice, that I could finally like have a decision and go with it. And I felt like this new job was such a huge positive step for me in many ways. And so with it came a good wage increase. Um, it was good enough that I could responsibly like send, uh, spend some of my savings um, on a personal trainer and on a gym and be able to like, you know, sustain that for a little bit. Only like a week into my new job, I got a membership at this nearby gym. And then I had like a consultation with the fitness manager and then he assigned me to a personal trainer. And then about the time that I got, I started on the floor training. So about like two weeks into my job, um, that's when I had my first session with a personal trainer who I still work with today. And in the beginning, I was absolutely not intending on uh, doing any more sessions beyond the three initial free sessions. But I mean, I got there and with everything that we were talking about and everything that I was learning, like I, it, I just very quickly realized how much I didn't know. And especially with my old back injury, I didn't want to risk like having improper form. Like I would not have touched any heavy weight in the weight area whatsoever. Like me with my gym membership without my personal trainer just meant treadmill. <laughs> it was just elliptical. Like that's all it would have been. That is all I stuck to if I wasn't there with him. But then he was getting me like involved in all the weights and everything. And I was like learning all these new things. And I like, I, I could tell very early on, I just kind of had to be honest with myself. And this was a big reason why I did want to like continue with the personal trainer is that if I was going to do this all by myself and succeed, I would have done it already. <laughs> I would have done it sometime within the last like five years ish that weight loss has actually like been on my mind and been something that I've wanted to do, but never did just never follow through on. And then when it came time, when the free sessions were complete and we were discussing like what the plan was, if I wanted to do more, if I wanted to do a contract, like what to do about it. I said, you know, let's do twice a week and I'll sign the three month contract for the full three months. Sorry, I just, my coffee is getting cold and I really want it. I feel like in the beginning, like especially maybe the first month, I was definitely 
really really awkward i don't mean to say that as if it's a bad thing because it's 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 a net positive thing that you're in the gym period like your mood or your awkwardness or whatever energy you're bringing in as long as it's not like you know getting thrown at other people um that's fine i would never think that i should have waited or should have done anything different to get more acclimated and get more comfortable before going to the gym even though i was really uncomfortable and awkward and anxious because i'm just like that's my default <laughs> i'm just awkward you just have to love it or leave it like i can't help it but i mean i still went there and i still like over time was opening up more to my trainer i sent him <laughs> oh my god i <laughs> i was having such an emotional night like there was i i had just freshly learned about my parents divorce and a lot of other fallout from it i had weighed myself and you know scale doesn't like really matter like i don't mean to put that much importance on it but it is kind of important for this which is why i mention it i weighed myself and i think i was like 163 or something like that i was going through my app and i saw that the last time that i weighed 163 was may of 2021 and that was the month like just before i had my really bad back injury at work i don't know like i looked at that and i was like like it just felt really really good to kind of feel like i was back where i was before my entire <laughs> like life fell apart professionally and like physically with the injury it just felt really good to see that and then like later this is gonna sound so emo but just like you need to understand the context that I was going through a lot of other stuff too. Um, I, like, I saw myself in the mirror and I got like really, really emotional because I just, I, I thought to myself that like, I look like myself when I was a CNA again. Like I looked like myself again at the end of my CNA career. I just remember like how empowered and how like, I don't know, amazing and like fulfilled I felt by from being a CNA. And like, then I had this new job that was like just as promising, like being just as fulfilling. And I felt like I was like back to where I was back then. And I was like, I was just so proud of me. And I felt like me back then like would have been at peace if I had known that like, this is where I would end up. I don't know. So I started crying. <laughs> And I texted, this is where this is going. I texted my personal trainer. I can put the text on the screen because like, honestly, <laughs> I think it was a good text. I was just really appreciative of everything. And I like explained this to him. Um, <laughs> I don't, I, y'all, I didn't even ask like his reaction to it, but can you just imagine, like we don't text like that ever and we still don't. And I just, I imagine he like, woke up and saw like pfft, novel and was probably like, what the hell is going on? This is why he gets paid to deal with me. <laughs> and then the other really, really big thing that I wanted to mention that I noticed in these first 90 days is I feel so much more resilient because before when I would try to do um, all of this on my own and I would have a diet, I could do like maybe, y'all, it was like three days to like maybe a week. Like a week would be good for me. A week run would be like, wow, <laughs> I did it like a whole week. But usually it was like, I would have it on my mind and then y'all, it could last even just like 18 hours. I would have an unhealthy meal or I would just like have a meal that, you know, was unplanned something that just didn't fit in with my budget. And then I would be like, okay, well, my, like everything's over now. Like everything, like that's just it. Like that was that, like I failed again, right? Like that's really how I would approach this back then. That was my mindset back then was like any unplanned thing was just total failure, like F. And then I just was done, finished. Like I couldn't, I, I quit. Like that's just what I did every time. I would have a little hiccup, a little blip, and then I would quit. And I know a lot of this was like me just not realizing that I was being so hard on myself and being so all or nothing. Cause it's like, I didn't think that I was, I just wanted to do well. And then when I didn't, I would just, when I, when I didn't, I would just take it really, really hard. Now 
y'all i have had some oh my god i have still lived my best life because we have this local italian restaurant that's now closed my best friend alexa used to work there uh, for like years as a hostess and then as a waitress and she and i went in like the last week that they were open y'all she had to get there like <laughs> i think it was like three or four hours uh before me because i was working uh because just to get in line like just to get into the place and so we had like our last dinner there and oh my god you guys the pasta the pasta the bread the uh appetizer like the dessert <laughs> we really had like five courses it was crazy and um i do not regret any of it i don't know oh my god because it's like it's the last day and i had so much memories with this restaurant too like my family had been there quite a bit i had had my birthday like dinners and lunches there like this was just this was just such a big deal to me and into her too because she and i we are we like joke but it's like so true we are each other's favorite lunch date like we anytime we need brunch like that's my brunch bitch like that's just her and i am that to her like <laughs> that's just kind of how it is and so the fact that we like have connected through food we both like are huge foodies i introduced her to indian cuisine back in high school like oh my god like we, we've tried ethiopian food together the food is just such like a big part of my life and it's like i enjoy it like clearly i enjoy it a lot <laughs> sometimes these days my macros look really messed up my calories can be like either high sometimes they've been like under two when i've just been really busy at work so i don't hit my protein goal and it's like bummer but like <laughs> i get right back on it like immediately and it's not i don't have like this huge existential dread where i'm like oh my god i failed like this is because <laughs> it's not that like i know it's not that and i know like i trust myself when it comes to sustainability and like being able to keep this up for the rest of my life i think that this is like the biggest like game changer for me you ever watch a video and just think that it's like too good it's like the continuity is so good you're like can you be a little bit less that's me so i did finish my whole reflection but i didn't realize that my ac kicked on and my audio just turned to garbage in the last 10 minutes now to get into the struggles that i've had in the first 90 days for starters i would say that meal prep has definitely help me out so much like it's definitely necessary don't get me wrong i love about meal prep that it makes this possible i don't have time to cook between my shifts really and the way that my shifts are scheduled is i'm always doing a series of 12 hour shifts i don't have just like one 12 hour and then one day off and then another 12 like that just doesn't really happen so i absolutely have to meal prep and i you know like it i get it done but I also hate it. <laughs> I don't like cooking that much. I know that I'm not the best cook. Like I think my recipes like do as much for me as they possibly can before my like poor execution starts playing into it. My dislike for meal prep was definitely most prevalent in the first like six to eight weeks. And I think that that has a lot to do with that being about the time period it takes for something that something new that you're doing to become a habit. So it just felt very like unnatural to spend that much time on cooking, especially compared to how I ate before, because before I was just like eating out most meals. And I mean, I was like skipping some meals probably, but for the most part, like anything that I ate, I ate out. So I always had the convenience of a drive through or just a really quick in and out type place um, to get my food. So I never really had to worry that much about time management or dishes or like any all this extra planning and recipes and like the fucking dishes man <laughs> like it's just a lot and i don't i don't love it let's just say that another one of the struggles that i've had in the first 90 days that i honestly can't like confidently with my chest say that this is only because of my weight loss endeavors and my like goals in the gym and eating better i think this was really most to do with me just feeling so overworked and feeling like I didn't have great time management. I was also going to night shift. So I was like transitioning into that and trying to deal with like when 
the hell I'm supposed to like plan the rest of my life around work. And even on my nights off, it's like, well, every work closes, you know, only a few hours after I wake up. So I had a lot of other things going on, but I did feel this way sometimes where I would be leaving the gym or just, you know, thinking about what else I had to do that night, you know, going to the store, getting these foods together. And then I would just think about it and be like, is this all I have going for me right now? Like, is this, is this it? Like, is this just my life right now? And like I said, I think I was mostly just stressed out about work and I felt like I was just doing a ton of hours and I wasn't used to the 12 hour shifts. It felt like just a lot, a lot of time. And also because I'm like working overnight and my night's off, I'm trying to keep to my sleep schedule. So I'm like awake overnight and it's just, I don't know, a lot of like loneliness and just doing things that I just, I just felt like I wasn't really like living my best life. And the things that I did have going for me and the other goals that I had, I would just get these little like lapses in motivation or whatever you want to call it. And I'm just like, is this all, is this everything? Like, is this just my life right now? But thankfully, a lot of those feelings that I had were so intermittent and so rare and I always like could pull myself back out of it. And I mean, it's not like I stayed down there for days on end. It was more like just a feeling that I would have, like it would pass in a few minutes. <laughs> His ear went when I did that. Overall, I would definitely say that the first 90 days have had a lot of really great highs, a few struggles that I hope to iron out better within the next 90 days. So hopefully my half year mark um, is all good news. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if in the time between now and then I start I like uh, a food subscription because at least just for some of my meals, just because it feels like a lot of effort. And like, I don't mind looking up the recipes. I actually like looking into things, but, and like cooking it in, in the moment, in the work that takes isn't that bad. It's really just the dishes and like cleanup. And I feel like maybe some of that might have to do with me putting things off. And then I feel like I run out of time by the end of the morning when I'm done meal prepping and then I get backed up on dishes cause it's like, well, I gotta go to bed cause I have things to do uh, this evening. Definitely something for me to uh, work on. But anyways, overall, like I'd give the first 90 days probably like a an 8.5 out of 10. I'd give it a pretty high score. Tier, was there anything else you wanted to say? Roscoe? I'll show you my dogs before I go. This one's Tier. Hi, Tier. Hi. Who's a good boy? Uh-oh. I heard another good boy over here. <gasps> Hi, Wasco. <laughs> Hi, lazy man. And where is she? Where's the queen? Oh, she's on her throne. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Had Maisy girl. Roscoe, say like and subscribe. What? Fit check? Okay. not nervous right now.